what's going on everybody dj koham here welcome back to the channel it's from some news babe it's take from some news Today, we've got three PC mods and testing. We only have seven console mods and testing. With all that being said, we did have 20 new and updated mods released today. A2 Studio is making his TLX 9000 Phoenix colorful. Peter J. Modding announces a new three-cylinder Massey Ferguson. FS Modding's also working on a new Massey Ferguson. Custom Modding show off all the wheels coming with their Case IH250 series. Plus, JA Modding has the first renders of their next mod. Let's check it out. In Test T4 PC, we have Polish Seeds, Rice Leveler, and Cell Point for Digestate. In Test T4 Consoles, we have the Case IH Axle Flow 130-150 Pack, Italian Fuel Tank, Large Bulk Goods Haul, Lizard Lancer 600 Pendulum, Maintenance Building, Selling Station, and the Valtra BH-140. With all that being said, we still have 12 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, 20 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod up, including the John Deere 6000 series. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Moving into today's top stories, we start with A2 Square Studio and his TLX 9000 Phoenix. In his live stream yesterday, he showed off lots of features coming with the truck, including wheels, body options, and even lighting. But one option that a lot of you guys have been asking for in many different mods that he's done and many other modders as well is underbody lighting. This is one option that has been added for the TLX 9000 Phoenix, and you'll be able to change it up between multiple different colors so that your underbody lighting will match the rest of your truck, or you can choose to go without it. That way your truck matches your style, no matter what it may be. Stay tuned as I'll be talking more about the Phoenix throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend as well. Peter J. Monig is back with us today with a new screenshot of his upcoming Massey Ferguson 200 three-cylinder series. He says that the mod is coming along very nicely, and by the look of it, this should be for all platforms as well. As you can see, there will be many different cab options to choose from, including a head bar, no cabin at all, sunshade, or a fully enclosed cabin. You're also going to be able to choose from different front weights, front loader options, and more. As you can see here from wheel options, you can only see rear duels and singles, at least from the screenshot. Possibly there could be more. As far as engines go, it looks like we're going to be getting the 230, 240, 250, and 253. Keep an eye out for this one as soon as everything is almost ready to go. FS Modding are back with us today after the release of their Thunder a few days ago. Today, they have a new Massey for us, Massey Ferguson MF660. Not much else was said about the tractor, so we're probably just going to have to wait and see when more information becomes available. Yesterday, we talked about custom modding and their upcoming Case IH250 series combine harvester. Today, we get to see a few new things, including the tire setups. As you can see here, range from the smaller 520s and the 600s all the way up to the 1400s, which we talked about yesterday. Many different options to choose from here when it comes to this combine. In addition, they've started working on the header as well, although we didn't really know too much about this one. As you can see, this is all we have. Judging by the size of the combine, I would say this is going to be over 13 meters plus. But this is just another one of those things we're going to have to wait and see. And lastly, today we get to see some of the first renders of JA Modding's upcoming Mandaco Storm Euro 40, which was first announced yesterday in Farm Sim News. He says that the model is on its way and will be a great addition for those of you that love to play realistically. This mod will have all of the functionality of the real life version, which is pretty cool. In Farm Sim, sometimes features have to be skipped over due to game limitations or file sizes, things like that. It's nice to see a mod getting full capabilities added in game. And it's nice to see my full outro written out again so I don't have to memorize it anymore. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of farming simulator. Ha! Didn't mess it up this time. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Gohan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be said, hope you have a great day. See you later. beard's getting itchy, but I don't care. I have to shave it on Wednesday next week, so I'm leaving it till then.